Hello friends, very good morning to all of you and here we will discuss current affairs questions based on 11th of February and the questions we will discuss here in this session along with the static fact based on the correct option in individual question or uh, if the extra information available we will also discuss that as well. So moving to question number one here, India would become 1 trillion internet economy by which year and the answer here is option B 2030. India's internet economy fueled by growing internet penetration and consumption of digital content is likely to touch $1 trillion by 2030, according to Red Sear. The Indian digital economy is expanding at more than 50% every year, led by high-speed internet access and increased online shopping, the management consultant said in a report. About 40 to 50 crore people whose annual income less than 3.7 lakh need digital intervention to help them solve their problems, according to Red Sea report. So, India would become 1 trillion internet economy by which year? That is 2030. Moving to question number 2. US major approves what amount arms sell in Indonesia? Indonesia, capital, just remember it, that is Jakarta. Right? And yes, Indonesia, Jakarta is the capital. And... Uh, here is the answer that is 14 billion dollar. US major approves 14 million dollar, 14 billion dollar arms sell in Indonesia. The Biden administration on Thursday approved nearly a 14 billion dollar arms sell to Indonesia and US press ahead with states it believes will help counter China's increasing assertiveness in Indo-Pacific. The State Department announced a 13.9 billion dollar sale of advanced fighter jets while Secretary of State Antony Blinken was visiting the Australia on a visit also intended to underscore the US determination not to allow China free reign in the Pacific even as the development between Russia and Ukraine demand attention. So the um, important thing here is that 14 billion dollar US major approves in arms sale in Indonesia. That is it. Moving to next. Luke Montagnier died recently. In which field he belongs to? And he is a biologist. Option A. French researcher Luc Montagnier, who won Nobel Prize in 2008 for discovering HIV virus and more recently spread false claims about the coronavirus, has died at the age of 89, according to local government officials in France. Montagnier, a biologist, led a team that in 1983 identified the human immunodeficiency virus that is HIV, which causes AIDS, leading him to share 2008 Nobel Prize in Medicine with Colleague Francois Barcinosi. Francois Barcinosi is a colleague of Luc Montagnier, and Luc Montagnier belongs to, um, he is a biologist. Okay, that's it. And he won a Nobel Prize in 2008. That's the remembering thing here. Okay, moving to question number four here. Invest Corp to launch second India fund at what amount in 2022? And the answer here is option D, that is. 500 million dollar. The 500 million dollar fund will be used by Invest Corp to back an average of 10 to 12 group stage companies over a period of 3 to 4 years. The check size will continue to be in the range of 25 to 50 million dollar, said Har Setia, managing partner and head of Invest Corp India, with the fund set to launch as soon as approvals comes in. Invest Corp headquarter Bahrain head. Harsh Setia. Harsh Setia is the head of Invest Corp. Here is the peak you can see here. Right? Okay, moving to next. World Unani Day is observed on 11th February is the answer here. World Unani Day celebrates the Islamic Unani system of medicine. The day is observed on 11th February, which is the birthday of noted physician that is uh, Hakim Azmal Khan, the pioneer of Unani medicine in India. And the conference will address the potential of Unani medicine to help the India achieve Sustainable Development Goal 3, which is the healthy life and well-being of all. The theme of World Inani Day 2022, that is theme 2022 theme, this is Diet and Nutrition in Unani Medicine for Good Health and Well-being. Diet and Nutrition in Unani Medicine for Good Health and Well-being. So, this is the theme of World Inani Day 2022. Right, moving to next. Who has launched QR based mechanism for certification of handmade products? And that is Lieutenant General, uh, uh, Lieutenant Governor, that is uh, Monoj Sina, option A. 
the handmade carpets in jammu and kashmir will now get qr based qr code based certification and monosina launch lieutenant governor monosina launch qr code based mechanism for leveling of carpets in union territory with qr based application customers can check and verify authenticity of carpets the handmade carpets in jammu and kashmir will now get qr code based certification which is first of its kind in india right so monosina has launched qr code based mechanism for certification of handmade products right in jammu and kashmir how many missions selected by nasa to help the better understand earth sun environment right and the answer here is that is option b 2 nasa has selected two missions the multi slit solar explorer that is muse multi slit solar explorer and heliosworm to improve our understanding of the dynamics of sun the earth uh, sun earth connection and constantly changing space environment nasa headquarter is in washington dc chief scientist that is catherine calvin and the full form that is national aeronautics and space administration national aeronautics and space administration is the full form of nasa headquarter is in washington dc and chief scientist that is catherine calvin moving to next question number 8 International Day of Women and Girls in Science is observed on this is 11th February. World Union Day we have earlier discussed that is in 11 on 11th February and International Day of Women and Girls in Science is also observed on 11th February, right? Okay. So, yes, International Day of Women and Girls in Science 2022 observed on February 11th every year. The International Day of Women and Girls in Science was declared by United Nations General Assembly UNGA. This day recognizes the important role women play in the field of science and technology, gender equality, science and crucial for achieving development goals which include 2030 agenda for sustainable development. And the theme that is for International Day of Women and Girls in Science in 2022 the theme is equity diversity inclusion equity diversity inclusion what are unites us the theme right very important equity diversity inclusion what are united unites us right so i hope you understood all the news bullets i have discussed here and uh, that is all for now good time